Hello and welcome to Dark Claire. Once again with Fallout 4. Now, I don't think we actually have a mission that we're doing right now apart from Diamond City. Oh no, we do. Okay, I'm talking at my ass. Anyway, let's go over there now. Because last time we got held up a bit. Also, I lost an episode. Again, I know. I've probably lost, what, two hours worth now? Bloody hell. Anyway. Not mm, that much happened. We went to a crack addict. And there was a problem, and I actually used my persuasion to get some money. Um. Ooh, hello. I don't mind if I, uh, if I come in. Do you mind? I, I should do. I should do it so it is, uh, it is okay. I will. I will have it all of your plants. They are mine. You will not get them back at all. No. They are mine. Right. Goodbye. This is all I wanted. Goodbye. Because hey. if you can... You need to come here. Right. Now, we go. Where, where are you fucking off to? Hello? What are you doing? Hey. No. Hey. Uh, oh. Okay, follow me. Okay, we're not going to take the roads, actually. As you can guess, as we're going through this forest. But I don't want. Oh my god, this is glitching out major time. And I don't know why. Ah, when AA titles don't work. Oh, isn't it exquisite? Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. Right. So. I'm really wondering if a F5, F9, or F7, I can't remember what I set it to, will fix this. Let's try. So let's try F7 first. No. F9? Yes. Right, let's see if this fixes it. No. It, no. It, 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 uh, it uh, didn't. It's fine. I know where I'm around about going. Uh, and then if the problem persists once we're there. I'll just. Mm, I guess I will. Uh, I guess I'll just. have to restart the game. Which is not a go. Oh shit, Rad. I forgot we was playing Fallout then. Bloody hell. So, who the fuck are you? Okay. Are you dead? Yes. Oh my life It's been a dandy Do na 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 I think we're almost there Uh oh Alright, best gun we have for these guys. What is our best gun? Drink jet. No. What's the best gun? 40. 45. Okay, 45. Now, as soon as we get out this, we need to F5. Thank you. Uh, not enough good enough. Not a good enough angle. Oh shit, there's a turret too. Stop moving, stupid man. What are you certainly no way with words? Don't you, big boy? Fuck was that, King Kong, bloody pounder? 
Come on, Codsworth. Get up. I need you here, man. Come on, don't let the team down. Also, I'm really glad the Thomas Tank Engine mods have made it to Fallout 4. I'm not put them on yet, I must admit, but I'm very tempted to. Okay, so that builds up, and then... Bloody hell. How many more shots do I need on this guy? What? Who the fuck attacked me then? Okay, interesting. Right, we're gonna throw Molotovs and grenades this time. Because I'm not letting that happen again. I should probably get out of the way. Right, okay, so fragmentation. And it's Alt No. It's G? It's not. It's what is it? I don't No, that's the wrong button, that's the fucking Windows key. No 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 Don't you attack me yet, big boy. I need to figure out what this bloody button is. No. Okay. Settings, controls. V. Ah, okay. Oh, that's not a fucking grenade. Brilliant. Bloody hell. Literally, look at the amount of blood on the screen. Um, huh. Right. Let's think about this then. Right, so we know it's V to hold you now. So let's do that straight away. No, I want to fucking throw a grenade. Is it that? Oh, it's because it's not equipped, isn't it? It's not equipped yet. There we go. Right now, grenade. There we go. And the uh, equipper should do your head. Die. Bloody hell. Right, let's get some aid in me. Come on. We don't have any more grenades, I don't think. Let's have five and find out. No. Oh no, that's just clap, a dead claptrap. Oh no, claptrap, bloody hell. What the fuck? I don't even know what happened to them. What? Right, so, here's what we're going to do, we're going to throw in some Molotov cocktails. We're going to throw in a couple too. Has that done it? Yes, you did. Ooh, who would have known it was that easy to kill him? Oh, it's because this was like, yeah, this blew him up. What the fuck? Oh, is that what was killing me? Shoot it in the ass! Bloody hell. Okay, then. Well, I thought it was a turret. Yeah, it is a turret here. Okay. That was just a raided too. Okay. I didn't even know that. Right. 
Let's F5 that success. Also, I mean, we can kind of see the waypoint, just not clearly that much. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Oh, stem pack time. E. Oh, fuck. I actually missed that completely. Thank you, Clap. I should really stop calling you Claptrap because your name's not hey. fucking Claptrap. It's because you're a robot in the game I'm playing recently for YouTube. Well, not just for YouTube, for personal enjoyment too, but you know what I mean. Uh, can you take my shit? Can you take the armor I'm not using? Yeah. Good Codsworth. Epic Codsworth. What are you doing? Open door. Tab to go back. Mm. Hang on, give me a second. I just want to try and get this FPS up. You know what? I'm going to fix this and then come back. So until next time. Well, no, not until next time. See you in a minute. Well, I'm back, but I've managed to fix fuck all. Um, so, yeah, bam. I don't know why it's doing this, son. Nothing to see here. Yeah, 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 fuck off. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. Sorry, I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boop. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. Who are you? What? Who are you? Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, alright. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Right. Also, how the hell has that not fallen off? Look at it fucking shake. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel. She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Right, I'm gonna let her go first. Just in case she pulls a fast one. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer Ooh, scrapped that for state parts. Mr. McDonough, tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. More newspaper. 
What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Uh... Sure. Support the news. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. <laughs> Did you see what I'm wearing? to the great no, I don't. jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> now, is there anything in particular you came to our city for? Missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Also, that's got the same fucking subtitle on. I don't know why my game's glitched out again. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm really? a busy man. Enjoy Brilliant. your stay in our fair city. So I've got almost full persuasion. This is ridiculous. And it still didn't Diamond work. City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates anything? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm. Hey, 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 Diamond hey. City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect. Oh, for. brilliant! It's another fucking sunny thing. Oh, I'm writing a book. Can you help me? Right. Get on inside. Yeah, yeah, I will. Shut up. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. I'm sorry I wasn't lying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? Bloody hell, were you not listening? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. No, oh, There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. Okay. Yes. I can at least point you somewhere, unofficially. When you get inside the city, go to the back, around the market, to an alleyway. There's a couple of bright neon signs. Okay. Valentine's Detective Agency. Right. No one likes going there, though, so buyer beware and all that. Hmm. <laughs> You're no help. <laughs> Slap your constant fears, you mad the fucker. All I can tell you is that we hear a lot of complaints. Thanks for your help. Yeah, well, good luck. Stay out of trouble. Mm -hmm. okay. Got a question? You should talk to Sullivan. Piss off.
now it's on bloody good FPS. Not FPS. Yeah, FPS, never mind. For some reason I thought FPS only referred to first person shooter. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. This individual is busy. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well... Oh, not again. Oh, there we go. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Hmm, right, so what's in here? Synthetic Truth. October 2287. Such a year it is now. Can't remember what year it was when we began this. Noodles, we all eat them, we love them, and Diamond City's power noodles have supplied the sustenance for the past 15 years. From the stilted mechanical cadence of Takisha's programmed Japanese to the fragrant stream that wafts from each bowl to the skin to the scalding tang of the delicious mouthful. The ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat to the counter of power noodles last Wednesday night, and after five PM Enjoying a dinner I had so many times I had so many times before. That's when I knew to stop very own mayor McDonough sidle up to a stool and engage in some ve in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing. Yes, eating noodles, the shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City Nearly 60 years ago, on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229, as they sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Kake Takani Takahisha and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles but ice cold Nuka Colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night he Feliciated. Feliciated? I thought that was something to do with. <laughs> anyway, the shared ex human experience of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who were even old enough to remember the, that evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, had they not been first. Sid forcibly removed, thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti ghoul decree of 2282. But there is one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening respected matriarch Eustine Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right at the bar, sure as you're sitting in front of me now. 22 years or so, old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall, we all were. So what was the arm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west. Somewhere. It didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile and his laugh. And the way he's make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of Commonwealth. 
And Mr. Carter, he was so too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful, until it wasn't. Eustain continued her account of that evening, and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carrying on. Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. And something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the sort of smile sort of went from his face, all in an instant. <coughs> and then his cheeks started twitching, kind of funny. And I remember watching him, clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then blam! He shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate to show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organisation responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans. Simps. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. It seemed like they had killed a man who flipped his lid. Gone crazy. And he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible, but then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early simps, you see. And we realised it wasn't a man at all. It was then we all knew the Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never... Oh, and this is... Oh, no, it's not quite... It was never previous... It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still, others felt he had simply manufactured, malfunctioned. A hypothesis. A hypothesis? Supported by the twitching cheek. And was never meant to kill anyone. But all that time, the why suddenly hardly seemed important. What mattered was the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organisation whose intentions and motives were and still are a complete mystery. Using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles. So specifically, the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonough last Wednesday night in the same spot that Mr. Carter the Synth went haywire and, and mercilessly killed several people after spending hours sharing an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race. They were wrong. Are we? Okay then. So that's the truth that he really didn't want to get out about the uh, shootings, I guess. And actually, looking at that, oh, looking at the timer kind of thing, it looks like we've got Simon City, but this is where we leave it for the day. So, until next time, I've been Dark there. This has been a very buggy game, as you can see by the uh, map or the navigation bar, or whatever you want to call it at the bottom. A very buggy Fallout 4 game. So, until next time, goodbye!